So it's not uncommon that sometimes we'll be working with a patient who has low back pain and we'll find that different movements of their hip can reproduce their back pain. So it's not uncommon for hip flexion. So if we have the patient kind of flex their hip, they'll often then complain, especially on the way down, that they feel this pain in their low back. So it's somewhat of a, a quick little test that uh, we'll use from time to time to see if maybe this back pain can be lessened by just doing a slight maneuver where they do a posterior pelvic tilt, suggesting there's probably still an element of uh, lack of strength or stability there. So we can instruct the patient on how to do a posterior pelvic tilt, and then while maintaining that tilt, reproduce or redo that hip flexion, and come back down, and see if that lessened or abolished their pain. If it did, to me that just suggests that um, there is a stability component, specifically in the anterior posterior direction that this patient isn't competent with at this point that we need to focus on with some of our therapeutic exercises.